With the 16th and final slot decided and the event finally coming up this weekend, the hype for the second Smash Ultimate Summit has reached its absolute peak. But if you haven't caught the hype bug yet or are wanting to have some storylines to look out for at Summit, we here at Pro Guides have got you covered. In this video, we're going to take a look at some potential matchups you should be keeping your eyes out for this weekend in California. And if you're looking for some tips on forging your road to competing at Ultimate Summit 3, check out ProGuides.com for on-demand coaching to get you prepared to compete at the next Summit Qualifier event. Our new Pro Pass grants you free passes to our Play With Pros platform along with a plethora of exclusive content all posted daily. Make sure you don't miss our new pro course with MK Leo himself as well as others coming soon. The first group of potential matches that you should keep your eyes out for are tiebreakers. Some of these players have happened to meet quite often this season and have head-to-head -head records that sit at 1-1, 2-2, or even 3-3 apiece for the PGR season. And with the end of the season certainly fast approaching, Summit has a high likelihood to be the event that flips these records in one player's favor. The most high profile of these is MK Leo vs Mars, which sits at 3-3 for the year. This this record is largely built off of Mars's early season double elimination of MK Leo at Smash Factor 8. Since then, Leo has won three of the last four, only losing again when they first met at main stage, but he brought the record back to even later at the event with a 3-1 win. Hopefully, we'll be able to see these two settle the score at Summit. Realistically, Mars and Samsora, and to a lesser extent Nairo, are our biggest hopes for not having Leo win his second straight Ultimate Summit. For a competitive Smash Ultimate player, Tweak has had quite a good second season in Ultimate, but for someone trying to defend the title of the second best in the world, he's left a lot to be desired. Just among the players in attendance, he's got three tied head-to-head -head records and three losing ones. For comparison, MK Leo has a single tied head-to-head -head against Mars, and Samsora has four losing records and two tied. So if Tweak is looking to hold his footing at the top of the game, he's gotta turn some of these around at Summit. Out of his three tied head-to-heads against Samsora, Debuzz, and Esam, it's hard to say which one will be the easiest for him to flip. He's lost his last set against all three of them, with both both his set against Sam and Abuzz being 3-0 sweeps. His best shot is probably evening up his 0-1 against Nairo or bringing his Zachary record to 1-2 as all three of those previous sets went to Game 5. But as a whole, Summit is looking to be an enormous minefield for Tweak. The tiebreakers I want to bunch together is a group I call the Run Killers. Esam's aforementioned tied record against Tweak, T's 1 to 1 head to head against Mars, and Light's 1 to 1 spread against Samsora all have the potential to cripple a deep run for those top 5 players if they meet in pulls or bracket. Just like Esam versus Mars, T and Light both evened up these records when they last met their respective top 5 players in bracket. So be sure to keep in mind these potential projection flippers when making your winner pick at Summit. The other group of head to heads that I want to highlight going into Summit are the Un knowns. Matchups we haven't gotten to see at all this season. T, the Japanese Pac-Man main is easily the most exciting player in this regard because of the combined factor of his out-of-the-ordinary main choice and with how many top players he hasn't yet seen this season. MK Leo, Tweak, DeBuzz, and Nairo all have not had the chance to meet T in brackets at a PGR event this season, but he has played everyone except MK Leo in that group in the past, which is for sure a matchup we'd love to see. He 3 one Tweak's Young Link and Wolf during T's sick run at Prime Saga. He swept the Buzz 2-0 both of the times they met, once during Prime Saga and once at Frostbite. Nairo's the only one of the group who can say they've held back the pack attack when he ended his run at the event with a 3-0 sweep. So the ceiling for how well T can perform at this season's summit is quite high. I'd even say that it wouldn't be too crazy to see him take a gold or silver medal back to Japan with him. But we are dealing with a lot of unknown factors, so we'll have to wait for the weekend to see exactly what he'll do. Void is another player who has a lot of empty boxes on his head-to-head -head sheet, but his reason for that is quite different from T's. His comes as a side effect from his struggles this season to make it deep in bracket, like his 65th at the Big House and 49th at both Shine and Evo. But there has been some flashes of brilliance as of late for the newly minted Pichu and Sheik dual main. The one at the top is his fifth place at main stage, where he scored a summit spot by beating MVD, Mutace, Prodigy, and Salem. He still lacks a big win for this year, though he'll have many opportunities to do so at summit. Mars, Samsora, DeBuzz, Light, and Sakurai haven't yet been tested against the CLG Sheik this season, so hopefully he'll be able to exploit their unfamiliarity in the matchup and steal away a set win. The last big unknown for an individual player is Mutace, who has only played against the Buzz, Void, and T of the ranked players this season. I'm not as hopeful for Mutace as I am for these other two players because of two reasons. First, the ranking skill gap is much larger between Mutace and the field than it is for Void or T. And second, as a Peach main, he really doesn't have the extra element of surprise and matchup inexperience like the other two have. This is by no 
means saying that I expect Mutes to come away from Summit without any wins. He beat the Buzz this season at main stage and pulled upsets off of both Isam and Zachary during the last PGR season. It's just that there are so many killers in this bracket at this stacked event that it's going to be a huge uphill battle for Mutes to make top 8 at this event. And to finish off this section, let's quickly rummage through and name some of the other first time this season matchups we could see. Mars and Samsora are the highest ranked pair that haven't met this season. Last season, however, Samsora sweeped Mars 3-0 when they last met at Smash and Splash, but Mars 3-0'd the Peach before that at Momocon. Mars vs. Zachary is a matchup we haven't seen yet at all in Ultimate, so hopefully whoever is seeding the event will finally make that happen. Zachary vs. Samsora hasn't happened since Loser's Finals at the last summit where Sam 3-0'd Zach's Wolf. Both have leveled up tremendously since then, so I'd love to see a run back at Summit to see how they've both evolved. And then obviously, any sets between the ranked players at the event and the handful of unranked players at the event like Arfang, Leffen, and Armada not only have huge upset potential, but also allow us to get a better feel on where exactly they fit into the top 100 right now. Then before we wrap up this video, let's briefly talk about who will win Summit. We were going to try to break this down into many tiers of probability, but honestly, with all of the upset potential, there's just two big groups. Far away from everyone else is MKLeo. He doesn't have a single losing record this season against anyone in attendance at Ultimate Summit 2. And the lowest he's placed all season is second, so to say he's been pretty dominant is a huge understatement. For him not to win the event, there's going to have to be at least two huge upsets. But if those upsets do happen, the door is open for almost everyone else to win the event with a hot hand and a good bracket. Zachary, Nairo, and Esam all have fairly recent big first place finishes under their belt, so who is to say they can't do it here at Summit. And most could totally see the Buzz, Mars, or Tweak come away with the top podium spot as well. Even if any of these guys don't end up outplacing MKLeo at the event, it'll be exciting to see who ends up with the silver. And that about wraps up our Summit preview. Let us know in the comments who you think is the favorite to win as well as who you would most like to see win. Also, let us know if there are any other exciting matchups that have the potential to happen at Summit that we missed out on highlighting. Make sure to subscribe to Pro Guides and put those notifications on to make sure you don't miss out on any content on the competitive ultimate scene in the future.